Lower thirds are essential when it comes to video post-production. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to easily create three minimalistic looking presets in After Effects CC. Press Ctrl N to create a new composition. Depending on how long the lower third should be visible, change the length accordingly. I tend to keep it between 4 and 7 seconds, depending on the project that I am editing. First, type a name and make sure the text is aligned to the left. You can change that by going to the Paragraph tab. Create a second text layer and choose a smaller font size, since the job title is often longer than the name of the person. Align both text layers to the same position on the left and leave some space between the two lines. Select the first text, open the layer settings by clicking on the arrow icon. Then click on Animate and choose Tracking. Go to 1 second and hit the stopwatch icon of Tracking Amount. Make sure it's set to 0. Then go to the beginning of the timeline and change that value to a lower number like minus 60. If you hit playback now, you should be able to see the text overlapping at the beginning and unfolding to the right side. To make the text motion look less choppy, make sure to activate motion blur by clicking on this circles icon. Next, open the transform settings of the first text layer and click on the stopwatch icon of Opacity to activate keyframing. Type in 0 at the beginning and 100 at 1 second to make the text fade in. Now it's time to add some elements between the first and second text layer. Press Q on your keyboard or go to the top and select the rectangle tool. Now simply drag a fine line between the text layers. Make sure it's not too thick to keep a slim and minimalistic look. You can duplicate this line by pressing Ctrl D. Arrange the two lines so they are centered between the two text layers. Next, it's time to animate the motion of these lines. To make the lines move from left to right or from right to left, open the transform settings and change the position value. In this case, only change the first number. Otherwise, the layer will move vertically instead of horizontally. In the beginning of the timeline, activate keyframing of position. Then go to the end of the timeline and change the value. I simply subtracted a value of 200. When playing back the composition now, the layer should move slowly from right to left. You can do the same with the second line. Instead of subtracting it, make sure to add a value of 200 in the position settings. Now the lines are moving in opposite directions. To make the lines appear suddenly, you can animate the scale. Activate keyframing of scale and change the first value to 0 instead of 100. After 15 frames, change the value back to 100. Now the line should quickly appear. You can do the same for the second line. Now it's time to adjust the timing of the different layers because it would look a bit boring if they would all appear exactly at the same time. First, the upper text layer should appear. Nothing needs to be changed here. Then the two lines should come in. You can move one line forwards to 20 frames and the second one to 1 second and 5 frames. This way they will appear one after another. Now only the job title text layer is left. Go to 1 second and 5 frames and activate keyframing for opacity. Change the value to 0, go to 2 seconds and 5 frames and change the value to 100 to make the text fade in. In general it makes sense to activate motion blur for all layers to make all animations look smooth. The second lower third is very minimalistic but classy looking. Create a text layer with a name and a second one with a longer text like a job title. Set the paragraph to center text. Make sure to leave some space between the two text layers. 
I chose Times New Roman as a font, but you could use any sort of serif font. Once again you need to create a horizontal line between both texts by pressing Q or by clicking on the rectangle tool next to the pen tool. Drag a fine line between the text layers. Make sure to center the line in the middle. To make the line appear, go to the transform settings of the shape layer and keyframe scale. At the beginning of the timeline, change the first value to 0 and leave the second value at 100. At 15 frames, change the first scale value to 100. Now you can see the line appearing from the center towards both sides. Now it's time to animate the first text layer. To make it appear from above while moving down, you need to press Ctrl, Shift, N to create a new mask. Unfold the mask settings and click on the stopwatch icon of Mask Path. Go to one second and set a keyframe. Go to the beginning of the timeline, double click on the mask in the preview window and drag the bottom all the way up until the text disappears. Next, change the position setting by moving the text down over a period of one second by activating keyframes. The second text layer will also be animated, but this time moving up and without any masking. Position it a bit lower than originally and activate keyframing for a duration of one second. Simply change the value of position to get the wanted results. Additionally, animate the opacity by going from 0 to 100 over the same duration by clicking on the stopwatch icon. Now drag the shape layer forwards to 1 second and the second text layer to 1 second and 15 frames. That way they will appear smoothly one after another. I also recommend changing all keyframes to Easy Ease to make all animations start and stop smoothly. The third preset is a rather generic corporate one, but the second line is in position below the first one, but instead right next to it. Create a text layer with a name and align it to the right. But make sure to move it to the left side of the frame. The second text layer should have a smaller font size and should be aligned to the left. That way when you change the name or job title, the text layers are not going to overlap. Press Q to create a new shape layer and drag a rectangle box over the first text layer on the left side. Afterwards, place it under the text and adjust the position accordingly. Do the same for the second text layer and change the color of the shape layer by clicking on Fill Color on the top bar. I changed the text and box color to the opposite, but you can use any color combination you'd like. Next, select the first text layer Go to 1 second and 5 frames and hit the stopwatch icon of position setting. Once you have set a keyframe, go back to the beginning and decrease the horizontal position value. This way, the text will slowly move from left to right over a course of 1 second and 5 frames. You can fade up the text by keyframing the opacity over the same time from 0 to 100. To animate the left box moving in from the left side, activate position keyframing at 15 frames, then go to the beginning and move the box out of the frame by decreasing the first value in the position settings. To fade up the second text line, type in slow fade on in the effects and presets tab and apply the effect by dragging it onto the second text layer. This will fade up the text from left to right. To change the duration, go to Animator, Range Selector and drag the last keyframe to 1 second and 10 frames. Otherwise the fade up will take too long. To animate the background box, go to 15 frames and set a keyframe of the position. Then go to the beginning and increase the first value so the box moves out of frame towards the right side. If you play back the composition now, you can see all animations. To time the appearance better, drag the second text layer forwards to 1 second and the second shape layer to 15 frames.
To end the lower thirds, you could simply do the same animation towards the end of the layers or simply fade them out. All three lower thirds can be further customized and timing can be adjusted depending on how long you want to show the graphics in a video. If you are interested in templates like these, you can also purchase our FJ filmmaking presets, which include not only minimalistic lower thirds, but also stock footage, animated backgrounds and color grading LUTs.